If you like this video, you can subscribe, turn on the bell, share it, like it, and write comments so that this channel can provide more videos. What is Extreme Programming, XP? Extreme Programming is a software development methodology that's part of what's collectively known as Agile methodologies. What sets XP apart from the other Agile methodologies is that XP emphasizes the technical aspects of software development. XP is obviously about programming. Scrum. Scrum provides guidance on the use of a product backlog, a product owner, Scrum Master, and a cross-functional development team, including spirit planning, daily Scrum, sprint review, and sprint retrospective sessions. Scrum is a single-team process framework used to manage product development. The framework consists of Scrum roles, events, artifacts, and rules, and uses an iterative approach to deliver working product. Scrum is run on time boxes of one month or less, with consistent durations called sprints, where a potentially releasable increment of product is produced. The Scrum team consists of a product owner, development team, and Scrum master. The product owner is responsible for maximizing the value of the product. The development team is a cross-functional, self-organizing team, consisting of members who have everything they need within the team to deliver working product, without depending on others outside of the team. The Scrum Master is responsible for ensuring the Scrum process is upheld, and works to ensure the Scrum team adheres to the practices and rules, as well as coaches the team on removing impediments. Pair Programming In XP, you write code in pairs sitting at one machine. You and your pair talk to each other while analyzing, implementing, and testing the feature you're working on. Pair programming is particularly effective in producing code with fewer defects while also being engaging. While one person writes the code, the other developer reviews the code as it is being written. This practice helps reduce defect rates as issues can be caught and corrected as the code is written. In this practice, the team can use continuous integration and automated testing. 10-Minute Build the continuous integration server is expected to build the whole project, including running all the automated tests, in 10 minutes at the most. This limit serves to keep tests lean and mean. Test-driven development, TDD, brings several benefits. First, feedback. If it's hard to write a test, the design you're going for or have inherited, is probably too complex, and you have to simplify it. Second, TDD allows programmers to trust the code they write, and creates a nice, cyclical rhythm where the next step is always clear. Last but not least, using TDD from the start ensures 100% code coverage. The test suite then truly becomes a safety net for future changes, encouraging code refactoring and creating a virtuous circle of quality. Incremental Design The practice of incremental design means that you must invest in the design of the application every day, searching for opportunities to remove duplication and make small improvements reaching the best possible design for what the system needs today. Continuous Integration In XP, you integrate your work to the shared main repository many times a day, triggering an automatic build of the whole system. Integrating as early and often as possible dramatically reduces the cost of the integration as it makes it less likely for merge and logical conflicts to occur. It also exposes environmental and dependency problems. Shared Code, Collective Ownership XP promotes shared code, or collective ownership, every developer is responsible for all of the code. It encourages an exchange of information, reduces the team's bus factor, and increases the overall quality of each module if we consider the principle of diversity. Single Code, Base Single Code Base is also known as trunk-based development. It means that there is only one single source of truth. So, Rather than developing in isolation for long periods of time, you merge your contributions to the single stream early and frequently. Feature flags help to keep feature use restricted while they're not complete. Daily Deployment Deploying to production at least once a day is a logical consequence of continuous integration. Actually, nowadays, many teams go even further and practice continuous deployment. That is, every time someone merges to the mainline, the application is deployed to production. Code and Tests This practice means that source code, including tests, is the only permanent artifact of a software project. Putting effort into generating other types of artifacts, including documentation, is often waste because it doesn't generate actual value for the customer. If you need other artifacts or documents, 
strive to generate them from the production code in the tests. If you like this video, you can subscribe, turn on the bell, share it, like it, and write comments so that this channel can provide more videos. Let us look at the following questions. An Agile project team utilizes extreme programming, XP, to develop the product. Which one of the following statements is not correct? A. The team is self-organizing. B. The project team members are individually accountable for their tasks. C. The team should accept a collective responsibility for the project's deliverables. D. The project team members are not individually accountable for their tasks. Let us look at the correct answer. A. The team is self-organizing incorrect. This is a correct statement but incorrect answer. B. The project team members are individually accountable for their tasks correct. This is incorrect statement but correct answer. C. The team should accept a collective responsibility for the project's deliverables incorrect. This is a correct statement but incorrect answer. D. The project team members are not individually accountable for their tasks incorrect. This is a correct statement but incorrect answer. Let us look at the following questions. Due to multiple failures of a software application, the project team conducted a retrospective to identify the lessons learned and apply them in their next iterations. What is one of the lessons learned in this retrospective for the next iteration? A. Utilize root cause analysis. B. Utilize pair programming. C. Increase manpower. D. Terminate the project. Let us look at the correct answer. A. Utilize root cause analysis. Incorrect. Root cause analysis can be utilized in the retrospective to find a problem but we need a solution for the quality problem. B. Utilize pair programming. Correct. C. Increase manpower. Incorrect. The problem is with the quality not with the quantity of manpower. D. Terminate the project. Incorrect. Let us look at the following questions. A virtual team utilize extreme programming. XP, to develop the product. Which of the following statements is not correct? A. They can use collocation. B. They can use video conferencing. C. They can use fishbowl window. D. They can use remote pairing. Let us look at the correct answer. A. They can use collocation correct. They are a virtual team so they cannot be collocated. B. They can use video conferencing incorrect. Video conferencing can be used since this is a virtual team. C. They can use fishbowl window incorrect. Fishbowl window can be used since this is a virtual team. D. They can use remote pairing incorrect. Remote pairing can be used since this is a virtual team. Let us look at the following questions. A software development project has been planned in a traditional approach and implemented in an extreme programming, XP. Which one of the following statements is not correct? A. In implementation, the project has a team-wide ownership and accountability. B. In planning, the control quality is the responsibility of specified team members. C. In implementation, the control quality is the responsibility of the entire team. D. In implementation, the control quality is the responsibility of specified team members. Let us look at the correct answer. A. In implementation, the project has a team-wide ownership and accountability. Incorrect. This is a correct statement but incorrect answer. B. In planning, the control quality is the responsibility of specified team members. Incorrect. This is a correct statement but incorrect answer. C. In implementation, the control quality is the responsibility of the entire team. Incorrect. This is a correct statement but incorrect answer. D. In implementation, the control quality is the responsibility of specified team members. Correct. This is an incorrect statement and therefore, the correct answer. Let us look at the following questions. An agile project utilizing extreme programming, XP as half of the team members are new to Agile practices. What should the team do to familiarize them with Agile practices? A. 
Ask the new team members to review the project management plan. B. Ask the new team members to review the team charter. C. Ask the experienced team members to mentor the new team members in pair programming. D. Ask the new team members to develop the project management plan. Let us look at the correct answer. A. Ask the new team members to review the project management plan. Incorrect. B. Ask the new team members to review the team charter. Incorrect. C. Ask the experienced team members to mentor the new team members in a pair programming. Correct. D. Ask the new team members to develop the project management plan. Incorrect. Let us look at the following questions. An agile project team utilizing extreme programming, XP, find pair programming beneficial to their project. Which one of the following statements is not one of the benefits of pair programming? A. Pair programming can transform specialized team members to generalized specialists. B. Team members who are not familiar with agile practices can be mentored in pair programming. C. There is a feedback loop, therefore, if a developer enters a coding error, their partner has the opportunity to catch the error. D. Pair programming can catch errors late. Let us look at the correct answer. A. Pair programming can transform specialized team members to generalized specialists. Incorrect. This is a correct statement but incorrect answer. B. Team members who are not familiar with agile practices can be mentored in pair programming. Incorrect. This is a correct statement but incorrect answer. C. There is a feedback loop, therefore, if a developer enters a coding error, their partner has the opportunity to catch the error. Incorrect. This is a correct statement but incorrect answer. D. Pair programming can catch errors late. Correct. This is an incorrect statement but the correct answer. Let us look at the following questions. An agile project team utilizing extreme programming, XP, want to improve the quality assurance program in the project and catch defects early enough. What should they use? A. Root cause analysis. B. Pair programming. C. Data analysis. D. Data gathering. Let us look at the correct answer. A. Root cause analysis. Incorrect. B. Pair programming. Correct. C. Data analysis. Incorrect. D. Data gathering. Incorrect. Let us look at the following questions. In an Agile project, the product owner prioritizes the project backlog so that high priority items are completed first. The high priority items are now completed. Due to economy recession, there is a constraint on the project budget. What is the appropriate action of the project manager? A. He should issue a change request to adjust the budget. B. He should consider the project done since the high priority items are completed. C. He should refer to the business case. D. He should refer to the benefit management plan. Let us look at the correct answer. A. He should issue a change request to adjust the budget. Incorrect. B. He should consider the project done since the high priority items are completed. Correct. C. He should refer to the business case. Incorrect. D. He should refer to the benefit management plan. Incorrect. Let us look at the following questions. In an agile project such as flow-based project, a Kanban board is utilized. A column of the board is approaching the work in progress limit. What should the project team do? A. Reduce the velocity of the team. B. Remove the work in progress limit. C. Project team members can swarm around the current work to help those working on tasks that are slowing the flow. D. Push more work. Let us look at the correct answer. A. Reduce the velocity of the team. Incorrect. B. Remove the work in progress limit. Incorrect. C. Project team members can swarm around the current work to help those working on tasks that are slowing the flow. Correct. D. Push more work. 
Incorrect. Let us look at the following questions. In an agile project, what is the correct sequence of deliverables or tasks to deliver the products? A. Prioritize, develop and test the tasks. B. Develop, prioritize, and test the tasks. C. Identify and list the deliverables, prioritize, develop and test the tasks. D. Prioritize and develop the tasks. Let us look at the correct answer. A. Prioritize, develop and test the tasks. Incorrect. B. Develop, prioritize, and test the tasks. Incorrect. C. Identify and list the deliverables, prioritize, develop and test the tasks. Correct. D. Prioritize and develop the tasks. Incorrect. Let us look at the following questions. To allow for a continuous flow of work and value to the customer, a project team use a Kanban method to manage a project. How is this project managed? A. Kanban method uses time boxed iterations. B. It uses the principle of pulling single items continuously and limiting work in progress. C. Kanban method is used when there is intermittent delivery. D. Kanban method is used when quality is not a priority. Let us look at the correct answer. A. Kanban method uses time boxed iterations. Incorrect. Teams are typically not bound by time boxes and will work on the highest priority item in the backlog of work. Time boxed iterations are used by Scrum, not by Kanban. B. It uses the principle of pulling single items continuously and limiting work in progress. Correct. C. Kanban method is used when there is intermittent delivery. Incorrect. Teams are focused on flowing work through the system to completion and not beginning new work until work in progress is completed. There is a focus of continuous delivery. D. Kanban method is used when quality is not a priority. Incorrect. Productivity and quality are increased by limiting work in progress. Let us look at the following questions. A project team is new to Agile practices. The project will be executed in Kanban methods. Therefore, you, as a Scrum Master conducted a session to explain to the team the core properties of Kanban. You list the following items. Visualize the workflow. Limit work in progress. Manage flow. Make process policies explicit. Implement feedback loops. Which one of the following items is missing? A. Start with current state. B. Agree to pursue incremental, evolutionary change. C. Improve collaboratively. D. Respect the current process, roles, responsibilities, and titles. Let us look at the correct answer. A. Start with current state. Incorrect. This is a defining principle. B. Agree to pursue incremental, evolutionary change. Correct. C. Improve collaboratively. Incorrect. This is a defining principle. D. Respect the current process, roles, responsibilities, and titles. Incorrect. This is a defining principle. Let us look at the following questions. A project team is new to Agile practices. The project will be executed in Kanban methods. Therefore, you, as a Scrum Master conducted a session to explain to the team the defining principles of Kanban. You list the following items. Start with current state. Agree to pursue incremental, evolutionary change. Respect the current process, roles, responsibilities, and titles. Which one of the following items is missing? A. Limit work in progress. B. Manage flow. C. Implement feedback loops. D. Encourage acts of leadership at all levels. Let us look at the correct answer. A. Limit work in progress. Incorrect. This is a core property. B. Manage flow. Incorrect. This is a core property. C. Implement feedback loops. Incorrect. This is a core property. D. 
encourage acts of leadership at all levels. Correct. Let us look at the following questions. The first Agile Manifesto value is individuals and interactions over processes and tools. Which one of the following Agile principles is not related to this value? A. Agile principle number four, business people and developers must work together daily throughout the project. B. Agile principle number five, build projects around motivated individuals. C. Agile principle number six, the most efficient and effective method of conveying information to and within a development team is face-to-face -face conversation. D. Agile principle number seven, working software is the primary measure of progress. Let us look at the correct answer. A. Agile principle number four, business people and developers must work together daily throughout the project. Incorrect. This is related to the first Agile manifesto value. B. Agile principle number five, build projects around motivated individuals. Incorrect. This is related to the first Agile manifesto value. C. Agile principle number six, the most efficient and effective method of conveying information to and within a development team is face-to-face -face conversation. Incorrect. This is related to the first Agile manifesto value. D. Agile principle number seven, working software is the primary measure of progress. Correct. This is related to the second Agile manifesto value working software over comprehensive documentation. Let us look at the following questions. An Agile team wants to develop a machine with a new technology. Before the machine is built, they want to obtain early feedback on requirements by providing a computer-generated 3D model. What does that mean? A. They use storyboarding. B. They use prototyping. C. They use impact mapping. D. They use prioritization schema. Let us look at the correct answer. A. They use storyboarding. Incorrect. Storyboarding is a prototyping technique showing sequence or navigation through a series of images or illustrations. Storyboards are used on a variety of projects in a variety of industries, such as film, advertising, and instructional design. B. They use prototyping. Correct. Prototyping is a method of obtaining early feedback on requirements by providing a model of the expected product before actually building it. Examples of prototypes are small-scale products, computer-generated 2D and 3D models, mock-ups, or simulations. C. They use impact mapping. Incorrect. Impact mapping is a strategic planning method that serves as a visual roadmap for the organization during product development. D. They use prioritization schema. Incorrect. Prioritization schema are methods used to prioritize portfolio, program, or project components, as well as requirements, risks, features, or other product information. Examples include a multi-criteria weighted analysis and the Moscow, must have, should have, could have, and won't have, method. Let us look at the following questions. In the stand-up meeting, the Scrum Master found that there are seven impediments that delayed the work of the team. He wanted to know which ones have more impact on the team than the others. What did he want to do? A. He wanted to justify terminating the project. B. He wanted to justify schedule extension. C. He wanted to justify funding requirements. D. He wanted to analyze and prioritize the impediments. Let us look at the correct answer. To understand this question, first let us look at the PMP exam content outline domain 1 people task 7, address and remove impediments, obstacles, and blockers for the team, it has the following activities. Determine critical impediments, obstacles, and blockers for the team. Prioritize critical impediments, obstacles, and blockers for the team. Use network to implement solutions to remove impediments, obstacles, and blockers for the team. Reassess continually to ensure impediments, obstacles, and blockers for the team are being addressed. A. He wanted to justify terminating the project. Incorrect. Terminating the project is an overreaction. The impediments should be analyzed first before a decision to terminate the project. B. He wanted to justify schedule extension. 
Incorrect. The impediments identified may or many not need a schedule extension. C. He wanted to justify funding requirements. Incorrect. The impediments identified may or many not need funding requirements. D. He wanted to analyze and prioritize the impediments. Correct. Before any other is done, the Scrum Master should analyze and prioritize impediments. Let us look at the following questions. You manage an agile project that has a high degree of changing requirements. You want to utilize aggressive transparency in your project. Which answer is not a reason to apply aggressive transparency? A. To accelerate the sharing of information within and across the organization. B. To surface as quickly as possible any misalignment, dependency, or other issue by posting project artifacts in public spaces. C. To increase risk and increase cost of the project. D. To exchange information in a dynamic co-creative process that leads to more stakeholder involvement and higher satisfaction. Let us look at the correct answer. In order to accelerate the sharing of information within and across the organization, Agile methods promote aggressive transparency. The intent of inviting any stakeholders to project meetings and reviews or posting project artifacts in public spaces is to surface as quickly as possible any misalignment, dependency, or other issue related to the changing project. A. To accelerate the sharing of information within and across the organization. Incorrect. This is a main reason for aggressive transparency. B. To surface as quickly as possible any misalignment, dependency, or other issue by posting project artifacts in public spaces. Incorrect. This is a main reason for aggressive transparency. C. To increase risk and increase cost of the project. Correct. Regular interactions mitigate risk, build trust, and support adjustments earlier in the project cycle, thus reducing costs and increasing the likelihood of success for the project. D. To exchange information in a dynamic co-creative process that leads to more stakeholder involvement and higher satisfaction. Incorrect. This is a main reason for aggressive transparency. Let us look at the following questions. A product is built incrementally by an international vendor. Both the vendor and the customer are in two different countries. The vendor will conduct a product demonstration through a virtual communication tool so that the customer can provide a feedback to the project team. Which tool is not applicable to communicate the product demonstration? A. Video conferencing. B. Email. C. Fishbowl windows. D. Remote pairing. Let us look at the correct answer. A. Video conferencing. Incorrect. This is applicable tool. B. Email. Correct. This is not applicable tool. C. Fishbowl windows. Incorrect. This is applicable tool. D. Remote pairing. Incorrect. This is applicable tool. Let us look at the following questions. A contract has been negotiated and signed with a vendor to build a product in an Agile project. Which one of the following activities is not the responsibility of the product owner? A. Prioritizes the product backlog. B. Estimates activities. C. Attends the demonstration and accepts or declines the stories. D. Attends retrospective with the team and scrum master. Let us look at the correct answer. A. Prioritizes the product backlog. Incorrect. This is the responsibility of the product owner. B. Estimates activities. Correct. This is the responsibility of the team not the product owner. C. Attends the demonstration and accepts or declines stories. Incorrect. This is the responsibility of the product owner. D. Attends retrospective with the team and scrum master. Incorrect. This is the response. Monitoring new work and changes. In adaptive projects, since work will evolve and adapt, new work can be added to the product backlog. The product owner prioritizes the project backlog so that high priority items are completed. If the schedule or budget is constrained, the product owner may consider the project done when the highest priority items are delivered. In predictive projects, 
the project team actively manages changes to the work to ensure only approved changes are included in the scope baseline. Any changes to the scope are then accompanied by appropriate changes to the people, resources, schedule, and budget. Scope changes can add to uncertainty, therefore, any change requests should be accompanied by an evaluation of any new risks that are introduced due to the addition to or change in scope. The project manager works with the change control board and the change requester to guide change requests through the change control process. Approved changes are integrated into the applicable project planning documents, product backlog, and project scope. The changes are also communicated to the appropriate stakeholders. Adaptive approaches often use time boxes. The work in each time box is based on a prioritized backlog. The project team determines the amount of work they can do in each time box, estimates the work, and self-manages to accomplish the work. At the end of the time box, the project team demonstrates the work completed. At that point, the backlog and estimates of work available to be done may be updated or reprioritized for the next time box. Task Boards A task board is a visual representation of the planned work that allows everyone to see the status of the tasks. A task board can show work that is ready to be started, to do, work in progress, and work that is completed. A task board allows anyone to see at a glance the status of a particular task or the number of tasks in each stage of work. Flow-based projects, such as those that use Kanban boards, can use these charts to limit the amount of work in progress. If a column is approaching the work in progress limit, project team members can swarm around the current work to help those working on tasks that are slowing the flow. Kanban method the Kanban method allows for a continuous flow of work and value to the customer. Unlike most Agile approaches, the Kanban method does not prescribe the use of time-boxed iterations. Iterations can be used within the Kanban method, but the principle of pulling single items through the process continuously and limiting work in progress to optimize flow should always remain intact. The Kanban method may be best used when a team or organization is in need of the following conditions. Flexibility. Teams are typically not bound by time boxes and will work on the highest priority item in the backlog of work. Focus on continuous delivery. Teams are focused on flowing work through the system to completion and not beginning new work until work in progress is completed. Increased productivity and quality. Productivity and quality are increased by limiting work in progress. Increased efficiency. Checking each task for value-adding or non-value-added activities and removing the value-adding activities. Team member focus. Limited work in progress allows the team to focus on the current work. Variability in the workload. When there is unpredictability in the way that work arrives, and it becomes impossible for teams to make predictable commitments, even for short periods of time. Reduction of waste. Transparency makes waste visible so it can be removed. Kanban Method Defining Principles Start with current state Agree to pursue incremental, evolutionary change Respect the current process, roles, responsibilities, and titles Encourage acts of leadership at all levels Kanban Method Core Properties Visualize the workflow Limit work in progress Manage flow Make process policies explicit Implement feedback loops. Improve collaboratively. Prototypes. Prototyping is a method of obtaining early feedback on requirements by providing a model of the expected product before actually building it. Examples of prototypes are small-scale products, computer-generated 2D and 3D models, mock-ups, or simulations. Prototypes allow stakeholders to experiment with a model of the final product rather than being limited to discussing abstract representations of their requirements. Prototypes support the concept of progressive elaboration in iterative cycles of mock-up creation, user experimentation, feedback generation, and prototype revision. When enough feedback cycles have been performed, the requirements obtained from the prototype are sufficiently complete to move to a design or build phase. Daily stand-ups Teams use stand-ups to micro-commit to each other, uncover problems, and ensure the work flows smoothly through the team. Time box the stand-up to no longer than 15 minutes. In iteration-based Agile such as Scrum, everyone answers the following questions in a round-robin fashion. 
What did I complete since the last stand-up? What am I planning to complete between now and the next stand-up? What are my impediments, or risks or problems? Flow-based Agile such as Kanban has a different approach to stand-ups, focusing on the team's throughput. The team assesses the board from right to left. The questions are, what do we need to do to advance this piece of work? Is anyone working on anything that is not on the board? What do we need to finish as a team? Are there any bottlenecks or blockers to the flow of work? Stand-ups are for realizing there are problems, not for solving them. Add the issues to a parking lot, and then create another meeting, which might be right after the stand-up, and solve problems there. Aggressive transparency, projects experiencing a high degree of change require active engagement and participation with project stakeholders. To facilitate timely, productive discussion and decision-making, adaptive teams engage with stakeholders directly rather than going through layers of management. Often the client, user, and developer exchange information in a dynamic co-creative process that leads to more stakeholder involvement and higher satisfaction. Regular interactions with the stakeholder community throughout the project mitigate risk, build trust, and support adjustments earlier in the project cycle, thus reducing costs and increasing the likelihood of success for the project. In order to accelerate the sharing of information within and across the organization, Agile methods promote aggressive transparency. The intent of inviting any stakeholders to project meetings and reviews or posting project artifacts in public spaces is to surface as quickly as possible any misalignment, dependency, or other issue related to the changing project. 